Welcome back. In this video, we'll start at the very beginning, the risk group website. I'm not going to walk you through the whole thing though, you can do it on your own time. Instead, I would like to highlight the most interesting parts. For instance, here's a preview of what a React component written in risk group may look like. This example showcases a fantastic feature of the language known as pattern matching. As shown here, risk group is trusted by a number of companies and for a good reason. Let's have a look at the language manual. I personally find the comparison with TypeScript very informative, so if you ever use TypeScript before, have a look at this page afterwards. I have already mentioned pattern matching and this page explains this topic in more details. On top of that, it touches on the topic of making our programs more robust using the so-called sum types but we'll explore this area in more details in the following videos. Risk group supports JSX out of the box, which means you don't need an extra tool like Bubble to compile your JavaScript into a regular JS. Now let's have a look at the Risk group standard library. It features three modules, JS, Belt and DOM. JS contains the bindings for JavaScript APIs so that we can use them in our Risk group programs. Belt is a layer on top of JS module with a collection of types and helpers. And DOM is a collection of DOM related types. For DOM manipulation, we can use a different library, Risk Group Web API, for example. Last but not least, I want to mention a fantastic community around Risk Script and Risk Group Association that stands behind and curates the development of the language and the tooling. Thank you for staying with me so far. And in the next video, we're going to set up a Risk Script project from scratch.